wait a minute. We I almost forgot a part of the the story. Remember when um um Peyton has a dream of Freddy Fazbear taking parts of mm. Marley and oh, dropping no. them into the pot and like he grabs like her head and like has like yep. the Freddy smile and just like it's like like and you can just it's oh that's such a good scene. Oh, that was the part that yeah. was really good writing. Yeah, it, yeah, was, yeah. it was the line silent Silently screaming. screaming, yeah. Silent screams. Oh my god, that's so good. I know. Actually, um, real quick, I was on. Speaking of your audiobooks, there were a couple times in this book alone that you're like, "Oh, I would hate that." Like, I like in like the pe in like in, like Pizza Kit. You said something about like that being your worst nightmare, and then there was also Jump for Tickets with the phone thing. <laughs> yeah, I, I have a lot of nightmares <laughs> with these books. Jeez. All right. So, they, they're they're genuinely they tap into a lot of stuff that's like it's do. not all g generic. A it's, lot of good psychological. And very... yeah, it's not like classical horror either. It's yeah, no. it's yeah, it's all different kinds of things. Well, it's I, that Freddy, Freddy Fazbear branded horror element that we can't get enough of. What I am really like happy about is with these last six stories. I feel like because like I remember like. When we were reading Blackbird and The Cliffs and Bunny Call, we were like, oh, it's just the same <laughs> kind of story again. Oh, mm -hmm. the body swap, oh, uh, uh, being followed. Like, this stuff, like, this is, like, some new kind of stuff, and I really love it. I'm really happy about it. And yet, and yet, even, like, with the whole turning into a pizza kind of thing, it somehow doesn't seem that out there to me yeah. compared to the rest of the stuff we've seen <laughs> somehow I, I don't know how it works <laughs> we're, we're just desensitized at this point